We've already shown that there is substantial heritability for educational achievement in early and middle school years. Using UK representative sample of over 7,500 twin pairs who were tested longitudinally at ages 7, 9 and 12, we've shown that the average heritability for literacy and numeracy is around 68% meaning that over two-thirds of the individual differences in early school achievement is explained by inherited differences in children's DNA sequence. We've also shown that there is substantial heritability for educational achievement at age 16 for core academic subjects of English, mathematics and science, uh, with the average heritability around uh, 60%. The purpose of the present study was to find out whether this substantial heritability that we saw for core academic subjects extends to various other subjects children take at school, such as geography and history that could involve more factual knowledge, but also to music, art and drama. And what our results showed is that there is substantial heritability for exam results across different subjects children take at school. Interestingly, when we removed intelligence from the exam scores, the heritability still remained substantial. Using multivariate genetic methods, we showed that there is a shared genetic influence across different subjects children take at school. So these are things like English, mathematics and science, but also second language learning, humanities, business studies and art. And again, when we remove statistically intelligence from the exam scores, the shared genetic influence remains substantial. So what does it all mean? Well, these results don't have specific uh, implications for teachers in the classroom right now, but they do add to the knowledge to why children differ so widely in their educational achievement. We've also shown that there seems to be a general academic achievement factor um, so children who tend to do well in one subject also tend to do well in another subject, and that is largely due to genetic reasons. Our results also could facilitate molecular genetic research that aims to identify specific genetic factors uh, associated with achievement by focusing on the range of academic subjects rather than only English or rather than only mathematics and rather than only focusing on intelligence.